My name is Jonathan Semler. I am studying at the House Formation and I am from Hot Springs Village. My discernment first really began with youth ministry in high school. Um, went on a few retreats in high school and really started to grow in my faith and realized that I really loved ministry and loved um, helping people grow closer to Christ. From there I went on a retreat with the seminarians. I um, just really felt a overwhelming sense of peace while I was at that retreat and praying with them and talking with them. Um, and I went to the University of Nebraska for a year. And while I was there, um, a sense of discontent kind of set in. And I noticed that something big was missing from my life. And um, that was the ministry that I had been doing in high school. And um, so far coming back here, I've really realized that um, the, Lord is, the Lord is calling me to ministry. And um, that's something that I really felt fulfilled in so far. Um, to a young person who is um, discerning the call to priesthood, but afraid to answer that call, I would say to them, I was exactly like you not very long ago, and to some extent still am. Um, those fears, while often present in our minds, are not from God. Um, and going to college for a year really helped me identify all of those things that were pulling me away from discerning the call to priesthood as fears. Um, so to a person who is discerning the call to priesthood, I would say pray unceasingly and identify those fears and um, don't listen to them. Listen to uh, the peace that God gives you in your heart and not the fear that the devil can give you. Um, how can the people of our diocese support me and my fellow seminarians? Obviously, um, the number one way is prayer. Please um, keep praying for us. The power of prayer is very real. Um, and also, we appreciate um, the encouragement and support that everyone gives us. Please don't stop doing that. But also, um, acknowledge that the fears that we have can be very present in our minds. And um, you don't have to mention those fears to us. You don't have to say, I know you're going through a lot. Um, but when you're interacting with us, realize that we're human too, and um, we do have a lot of those fears, but um, absolutely keep praying for us.